Hello guys, Jaram here. In this video, we are going to deploy our uh, next JS, which is the React JS framework on AWS. For this, we'll use the one of the service of AWS, which is AWS Amplify. This is very, very easy to deploy your uh, React or Next.js project if you're going to use the AWS Amplify. So this is my one test application. This is the uh, React Next.js application. And uh, right now this is on my local system. I'm going to deploy on AWS. Uh, I mean to host the application on AWS using the services AWS Amplify. So guys, first uh, I should make sure uh, the code of this application uh, is on my GitHub account. So this is the my one of the repository, which is Xuranet, and I can see all the files are here, right? So my code is in the repository, GitHub repository. And uh, I want to deploy my uh, code on AWS Amplify and uh, finally I will map the code with the this domain which is in my GoDaddy account. So when I type xoranet.com I should be uh, able to see this page. So right now it's not running I'm just running npm run tab. So you can see this is the test page right this is the test page so first thing i have to do in the adwords amplify i should go inside this and uh, i am inside aws amplify here i am going to create new app and it's asking to deploy your app so it can be react angular view node so such type of application i can deploy so if you have the code at github bitbucket code commit gitlab you can use those or you can deploy without git so my code is in github i'm clicking this one and now it's next and uh, it's asking authorization so i'm clicking authorize So I'm authorizing AWS Amplify and uh, I'm not going to choose all repository. I'm going to choose only particular repository, which is uh, I've just created one test, which is the Xura net, right? And install and authorize. So I have to use my username password here of my repository. So you can see now my code is from the repository is now fetching into the AWS Simplify. So if you see this is my repository and the branch is main. So I am I'm using this branch. Next. And uh, now this will be the build command. This is the next day's project, so I have to build. So this is the command by default uh, AWS Simplify has detected. Now next, all set we are and uh, GitHub, Xuranet, next, now save and So my code is now deploying, you can see. It will take some time. So you can see the progress. So basically here, uh, all my code from that repository is coming into the AWS Amplify and uh, AWS Amplify is 
bootstrapping the account so it's almost completed 71% 78% now it's internally creating role and now creating the app and also creating the branch now deployment of the app is started so you can you can see uh, it's created one app which the id is this one and uh, it's now showing deploying right so it will take some time because here amplify will get all the code and deploy and, and it's internally read into the packet package.json and uh, get all the dependency internally we do not have to touch or install those dependencies separately it is taking care by itself internally so it's still deploying so right now it's uh, it should display some status but uh, it's a deploy it will done in few seconds more seconds now it's almost will take few more seconds in the deployment and uh, so still in the deploying stage it's took it's also taking care how many time it's taking in the build and deployment so you can see the time also because aws ch charges for the amplify is based on this duration so it's a uh, duration point uh, zero one dollar per minute so as my account is free tire account so it is not going to be charged but once your retire is expired after that it will take uh, it will charge so now you can see build is completed it's completed in 2 minutes 15 second and now uh, deployment is also almost completed yes so if I view you can see the status deployed so if I click this one now you can see the same project is now hosted on AWS using Amplify. This was on my local system and now this is the URL generated by AWS Amplify and you can see your project is hosted on AWS. This is so easy. Now as this code is linked with my GitHub and if I make any change in this project so let me show you so if i open the vs code in the vs code i'm just going to open this project file open folder and uh, i'm just opening this folder and uh, in the pages there is a public uh, one second yeah welcome to next yes uh, test website right and I am on terminal so if I just type here that this is a repository gate add all gate commit test 
to git push. So once I push here, we see here AWS recognize that there is some change in the automatically there is change inside repository and it, this will start automatically to deploy. So this is the code after some time it will be changed automatically. So whatever change I did it's uh, deploying automatically when I'm code is posting into repository it's all AWS Amplify is taking care and getting the latest code from there and it's auto deploying the code on the website on AWS so after some time this will be updated so till it's uh, working now as my website is uh, loading on this URL I do not want to be this URL for my website as I have my domain Xora net so I, I can use this one right so how I can use this so for this I have to use uh, another service of AWS is route 53 right so I'm not going to deviate from there so let it be here it's a deploying this is still deploying so it will be done in few seconds but it's taking some time so let us first go to this uh, AWS route 53 I'm opening a new tab and here uh, I'm creating sorry I'm creating a hosted zone the hostage or state zone I am the, this is my website and I just created the hosted zone so it's also creating some name servers and if I click this this is the name servers created by for this exorane.com uh, on AWS so I should take it I should go inside uh, name servers for of this website on where my domain is registered on it on GoDaddy and I have to change the name server so I will use my own name server so from here I have to copy and paste here thereafter copy paste here then copy paste here then copy and another four name servers are there and save it so it's giving me some error that uh, attempt is failed let try to save a attempt to attempt a name server has failed please retry so why it's failed Let it click again. So I am adding. trying to add this one and uh, the last one is this one now try to save ok now it's successfully done so now it's uh, accepting right so this will take some time to reflect here so now we should go inside this now you can see deployed so if I check my website and refresh this one you can see this test website is auto deployed right once the code was so now 
if I go let us check if my DNS has the new name servers yeah now my DNS has the new name servers now I should go inside this hosting and custom domains so here I need to add new domain and this is the Xora net and configure domain right so you can see here Xora net and uh, just click here amplify manage certificate it will be used and uh, it will take some time SSL creation and uh, SSL configuration domain activation this is the three processes and uh, SSL will be auto, auto generated by amplify and it will be applied so here is the uh, there were two options either you can use your own custom SSL or SSL generated by amplify so amplify is generating one SSL and now it's configuring it will take some time its auto configuration will be there and uh, if I see the DNS records this is these are the data right and uh, if I go to my DNS records so basically hosted on somewhere else so DNS will be not added here and uh, it will be all will be here only right so if I try to create any record here something like that I am trying to create and, uh, so it's automatically generated and created by yeah now you can see it's automatically created these two C name and are added by AWS now if I go to my domain xorane.com let us see what is happening so my website this next year's website is you can see accessible on xorane.com so this is the way we can deploy our website on AWS using AWS Amplify. Here I have deployed my next year's project. So guys, hope you enjoy this journey of deploying your next year's project on AWS. Please subscribe my channel if you are yet not subscribed and like. I will come with a new topic, new interesting things. Till then, happy learning.